All right, guys, here it is, the EVGA GeForce GTX 660 Ti for the Win Signature 2 Edition. I uh, just got this in the mail, actually, just about five minutes ago, and uh, it's my new video card. It's really going to change how I play games, because until now I've been using eight, the HIS Radeon HD 4650, one gb of GDDR2 memory, horrible card. But it was about 60 bucks when I got it, so I got it because it was cheap. I learned my lesson. This has two gigabytes of GDDR5 memory. It has SLI support, DirectX 11, PhysX, 3D Vision Surround. It is using the new PCI Express 3.0 technology. And, well, it's basically brand new on the market uh, not too old really it's definitely of the new NVIDIA GTX GeForce GTX 600 series which hasn't been out that long and uh, has some nice new technology so let me get this out of the wrap and we'll go over some of those looking a bit closer we see that it has the new NVIDIA GPU boost it has NVIDIA Adapt Adaptive Vertical Sync. It has NVIDIA Surround Technology. Support for four concurrent displays, two dual-link DVI connectors, HDMI, and DisplayPort 1.2. And like I said before, it also supports Microsoft DirectX 11. It has NVIDIA PhysX Technology. It has support for NVIDIA 3D Vision. It is SLI ready and it uses NVIDIA's CUDA technology and of course it uses the new PCI Expe Express 3.0 and it uses OpenGL 4.2. Looking over here the package can includes the card itself, the driver disk, one DVI to VGA adapter, two six pin PCIe power adapters, a user's guide, and an accessory pack. And we will be opening this today, trust me. All right, so looking over here, we see one display port, one HDMI port, and two different types of DVI ports, DVI-I and DVI-D. DVI-D, it says, is digital only. As you see, it only has the one little... Let's see if we can get closer on that. Um, but as you can see, it only has that one little slot right there, whereas the DVI-I has that slot plus four extra little pins there to basically have support for an analog signal as well. Now I couldn't tell you what all that means, but basically if you have a cable, if your cable is only the DVI-D, it will plug into the DVI-I. That's basically all I know on, on uh, that. So there we see a nice picture of it. It has two fans. And you can see down here it's actually a little bit open and that allows for heat to be pulled out by maybe a side fan you have in the case or whatever. And then we have a little look at the back right there just to make sure that the stickers match right there. And they do. Alright, so uh, it has an EVGA's Precision X included for free it says. We always love free stuff. Uh, it has EVGA's overclock scanner. I don't know how to read that. Is that OCX scanner or overclock scanner X? Not sure, but it has something to do with overclocking. I know that much. It has EVGA's warranty on it. Uh, EVGA mods rigs. I'll have to check that out. EVGA gaming. Definitely check that out too. And something called EVGA Sonet. Never heard of that. Nor have I heard of the mod rigs, but yeah, we'll check it out. 
All right, so let's pull it out here. Let me get that. If it sounds like I'm in a rush, I am a little bit. I'm actually about to leave, but that's all right. Whoa. All right, so one big thing here I did not expect. Oh, nice. Looks like we have here guys a nice really nice just it's, it's basically a huge poster and that is hold on let me fix the camera that is nice i forgot about this i will definitely be pulling that up somewhere that is something me to be proud of for sure all right i don't remember seeing that in any of the unboxing videos i've already seen so that is new to me but a nice surprise nevertheless uh we have the user guide here let me turn this back on close view or close up or whatever and it's about 10 pages. Forgive the shaking too, I'm a bit hungry. About to go leave for some lunch. Got a nice little case badge right here, very nice actually. Little carbon fiber accent there. Definitely gonna be using that. Got the driver install disc. Warning. Please allow the graphics card to cool for a minimum of two minutes after operation before removing it from your system. Uh, don't think I'll be removing it anytime soon. Quick start guide. Pretty straightforward. Oops, fell off the bed. And yes, I am using my bed to do this. don't really have anything else. I'm not like the professionals. The professional product reviewers that have white sheets to hang up somewhere. This card is PCI, PCI Express 3.0 ready. Good to know. Got some nice enthusiast built stickers here. Uh, yeah, I'll probably use these two. Here we have the, what did it say? VGA to DVI or DVI to VGA? It's one of the two. It's a dongle, it's an adapter. They even put this in what looks like an anti-static bag. I mean, they, they've detected everything here. It's kind of sad, though, that the one thing they don't stick in, a, in an anti-static bag here is the card itself, the most important piece. But they do include two adapters, which each require two four-pin Molex connectors, which turn into one six pin adapter each six pin connector sorry all right so oh that's beautiful she is quite a fairly big card too nice fans nice heat sink design you see in there let me get this wrap off that's annoying Oh, nice. All right, so right, up, right off the bat, I'm seeing we've got a carbon fiber design here, and it looks like a dark gray brushed aluminum, like a gunmetal brushed aluminum. Don't know how to get that film off. There's some film on the, on that brushed aluminum looking plastic. It may actually be metal, I don't know. I'll take my word for it until now when I can actually feel it yeah I think it's plastic but still nice very nice all right so we see here EVGA little protector on the SLI ports which I think I'm gonna leave that on there if it's safe to because I'm not gonna be using the SLI connector anytime soon but let's go ahead and look at the back of the card since we're already there very nice. All 
All right. And then we have a nice little view at uh, at the heat sink there, and I think that actually looks like a black chrome. Very nice. You have the two power connectors, six pin power connectors right there. And like I said, it's got an open design to let all that heat out because these fans are going to be pulling air in and it's going to push some of that out the back but a lot of it is going to return to the case and it's really made for I would say budget cases where well certainly my budget case where I have a side fan that's going to definitely take all that hot air and push it out or pull it out right on my monitor speaking of monitor i'm still using a dell crt monitor but that will change i'm waiting for ups to ship me my new asus monitor let me get these connectors off sorry i'm hogging the card i'm not even letting you see it it's my card you can't see it just messing with you um but if you've heard of Asus's new gaming monitor that supports NVIDIA 3D Vision 2 technology and everything else, it's a 3D monitor, one millisecond response time, 144 hertz refresh rate. It's just a completely awesome monitor. And I've got it. I got it for a really good price, two hundred seventy-nine dollars. And uh, can't wait till it gets here. This shipped by the local postal service. Actually, I guess it was small enough. But the monitor apparently is not small enough. Just giving you a good look at the card. Very beautiful. Very nice. It's it's almost it almost kind of looks a little bit stealthy. It's got a very dark layout to it, and I love that. It's going to look very nice in my case. And uh, hope you enjoyed this review. This has been PCMated, bringing you news, reviews, and unboxings of awesome PC technology. I will have the monitor video done as soon as I get the monitor and I might be making a full review of my current computer. Uh, probably not going to have that crappy card in that video though. Probably going to have this thing already in because I'm, I'm just tired of waiting, you know. Plus that other card, it's really not worth reviewing it's you can look it up though it's the HIS Radeon HD 4650 one gigabyte it's the one with the eye silence cooler on it uh, see you guys later